The following segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare. All right, we got the experts here in the lobby, and we're talking about something that's important that some of us forget about, and that is the inversion in dirty air in Utah, which happens a lot. We know what it is, we know when it happens, but what we need to know is how do we protect ourselves. Denitza Blagev, who is with the hospital, you are a pul pulmonologist? That's right. Well, what do we do? Uh, because a lot of people just work through it and go out and do their normal routine, but that's not really a good idea. No, especially when we have the bad air quality and the inversions, the safest thing to do is really to stay indoors. In general, indoor air quality is cleaner than outdoor air quality. What else can we do? So people that have asthma really or other lung disease need to be sure to be taking their regular medications as well. Um, the disease need to be, needs to be controlled as well as possible, giving people a little bit more reserve to deal with these inversions. And then making sure that the indoor air quality is as clean as possible. So making sure that um, the indoor um, air filters or right. furnace filters are changed as uh, recommended by manufacturers. And indoor air quality is better than, than the inversion outside, right? Unless there's someone smoking in your house, right. and that can be the exception. But otherwise, for the most part, um, indoor air quality is about 50% cleaner than outdoor air quality. Sure. So that is the better place to be. Okay, we got about 30 seconds, but a lot of people might not realize they even have asthma, but because it's not something we think about, but we may have some trouble breathing here and there, but people need to be aware of that. That's right. And so people, even when they don't have a diagnosis, if during bad inversion periods, they may develop some coughing, wheezing. Um, some people get throat irritation right. or shortness of breath, chest tightness. Those are all potential symptoms of asthma and they should be seen because that's something we can treat and, and help prevent. Doctor, thank you so much. And hey, we got our experts here. They're on the phone right now. Numbers on your screen. Feel free to give them a call if you have any questions about asthma or inversion or how to help yourself breathe better.